Hello everybody, this is a Patreon exclusive video just for you. I'm going to be reading an article today written on a website by a guy called henrymakow.com. Uh, the, the, it also goes under the URL Save Men. Um, Henry Makow is an interesting fellow. He, uh, he actually, um, he, he was, despite being the son of uh, uh, Polish, uh, uh, immigrant Polish Jews, uh, he uh, is a virulent anti-Semite, men's rights activist, and all-round bonkers mental lunatic. Um, however, he, believe it or not, um, actually made a career for himself in inventing board games, notably uh, the very popular board game Scru called Scruples. Um, but that being said, uh, he, I thought I'd read some articles uh, for him as a little treat for y'all. So I'm, I'm going to be reading today uh, from his article uh, called... Um, Pornography, why porn is gay, why all porn, all porn is gay. And, uh, and, 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 and I'm just going to say this now, he actually does prove it, but we'll get it, yeah. In, in 2004, a woman revealed details of Hugh Hefner's sex life, because obviously he's kept that quiet, you know. If the Playboy founder is any indication... A life dedicated to porn... He's not really, is he? I think he was a bit of an anomaly. Um, a life dedicated to porn and promiscuity leads to homosexuality and impotence. Um, yeah, that's a, well, two, two things we often associate with Hugh Hefner are homosexuality and impotence. The 60s icon of suave masculinity was in old age a grotesque self-parody. I think he was a self, if you want to call him a self-parody, he was one in, in his middle age too, and probably younger than that. Um, Hefner, who died last September, paid a bevy of whores $2,000 a week to be his girlfriends and have sex with him every Wednesday and Friday. He used Viagra. And, well, he was... Viagra, you, him using Viagra, it is, him being impotent... Assuming he was, not all men who use Viagra are impotent. Um, but uh, him using it is not. Um, if it was because he was impotent, it's probably to do with the fact that he was fucking seventy years old, wasn't it? I mean, isn't that probably more likely? And watched male gay porn to stay erect, while as many as ten concubines mounted him in succession. What a bloke! The other girls simulated lesbian sex to arouse him. When you say simulated, I mean, they're kind of doing it, aren't they? Right. He doesn't really do anything, says Jill Ann Spaulding, author of the book Upstairs. He just lies there with his Viagra erection. It's just a fake erection. Why do you mean a fake erection? And each girl gets on top of him for two minutes while the girls in the background try to keep him excited. They'll yell things like, fuck her daddy, fuck her daddy. There's a lot of cheerleader going on. What a, what a massive puff. No one becomes a playmate without having intercourse with Hefner. I don't, that's, not, that's not strictly true. Um, the girl next door, the girl next door is now a whore. And I don't think that's the case. And Hefner's maudlin example of arrested development is a fitting epitaph of his Playboy philosophy. Um, Playboy was not a spontaneous phenomenon. Uh, it was social engineering designed to foster homosexuality and family breakdown. Defining homosexual and heterosexual. The establishment agenda is to destabilize and neuter us by encouraging homosexual behavior. This ensures we don't propagate since homosexuals have sex but generally don't have children. What do you mean generally? Yeah, I mean, unless they're having sex with someone of the opposite who can have you No, know, yeah, usually, almost completely, exclusively, don't have children, yeah. They redefine homosexual as a sexual preference or lifestyle choice, rather than a development, de developmental disorder to entrap us. Never mind that the vast majority of homosexuals come from dysfunctional families uh, or suffered sexual abuse as youth. None of those things, neither of those things are true. 
our reluctance to embrace homosexuality is considered bigotry. In response, let's in response, let's take some liberties with these definitions ourselves. Now, if you admit you're taking a liberty, Henry, kind of stepping on your own point, but having the right paradigm is the key to healthy behaviour. Forget about what you normally think of gay, same sex, or straight opposite sex attraction. Think of heterosexuality as monogamous and dedicated to rearing children, and homosexuality as promiscuous and concerned with sex for its own sake. Well, yeah, Henry. I mean, if you just want to completely change and redefine what both of those words mean so that it fits, you know, what you're, you, you've already determined, you know, your pre, your, your, so that it fits your narrative, then yeah, sure, why not? All porn, you're, you're right, all porn is gay. But what about um, homosexuals who are monogamous and do, and now actually have, you know, don't have children of their own, um, but, ad but adopt children or maybe have surrogate? Are they now heterosexual? But no, in his mind, if you, you know, if you know, homosexuality is just being promiscuous and having sex for fun. Heterosexuality involves bonding permanently with a member of the opposite sex for love and usually procreation. It is participating in the natural cycle of life. In the intrinsic meaning of life, personal and societal health depend on heterosexuality. Homosexuality, and this is in bold lettering, is a form of arrested development. This guy, you, Henry, don't get to, pardon me, accuse anyone of arrested development, my, my sunshine. Uh, caused by an inability to form a heterosexual bond due to identifying with your biologically opposite gender. As a result, homosexuals compensate using sex as a surrogate for love. Jammy bastards. In these terms, society has become more homosexual because, due to social engineering, i.e. the sexual revolution and feminism, many heterosexuals now fail to permanently bond. Now, normally, happily married heterosexuals can put sex in perspective and move on to more important things. Mm. A perceptive reader, recent, a perceptive reader, recently wrote wrote me, if heterosexual out sex outside of marriage is acceptable, if we eliminate the procreative aspect from sex, are heterosexuals any different from homosexuals? In, yeah, they are, because they're not doing it with someone who's the same sex as them. They're doing it with someone who's the opposite. It's kind of a big, you know, it's kind of a, you know, Massive difference. I know these definitions are not politically... They're not just not politically correct. You're entitled to use them, my friend. They're just meaningless and nonsensical. They don't, have, they don't apply to sexuality. That's why it's called heterosexuality and homosexuality. It applies to your sexuality, not your behaviour. P PC is propaganda, social engineering, and mind con mind control. PC is an old communist, but oh yes, Hugh Hefner, that classic communist. I do not disparage gay. You've done. You do little else, my friend. According to my definitions, the vast majority of homosexuals are really heterosexuals. Yeah, yeah. Hugh Hefner, that well-known gay communist. And a small minority of homosexuals are monogamous. Oh, so, so this is why you, you can't use it because you're still use you can't use the old and the new definitions in the same sentence. That's why it doesn't work. And just because, and just because you're that's your th doesn't mean you're not dis you are still disparaging homosexuals by your definition or by the old one. Last year I wrote, throughout modern history, Illuminati bankers, Jews, have used sexual liberation to subvert society and establish their subtle tyranny. 
As Masonic revolutionary Giuseppe Manz Mazzini wrote, we corrupt in order to rule. Okay, I don't know who that is, but whatever. Every major revolution in modern history has increased Illuminati bank banker control. And the sexual revolution is no exception. The Illuminati used Hugh Hefner's Playboy to divorce sex from love. Yes, before that, men never found women sexually attractive. Right? Men didn't jack off. We didn't have the time. There was a war on. In the movie Munich, the Israeli assassins confront an attractive woman, woman who killed their colleague. She displays her goods and suggests her death would be a waste of talent. She thinks they might have sex with a woman they intend to kill. Do you think maybe she was trying to, I don't know, say, oh, negotiate here? Like, you don't have to kill me? How about... I let you gang rape me and you keep me alive? I don't know. Only how divorced from fucking reality. According to our definition of homosexuality, the porn, consu the porn consumer is engaged in promiscuous masturbatory fantasy. He is not focused on his marriage or progeny. Well, I fucking hope not. I should hope when he's master in a masturbatory fantasy, he's not engaged with his progeny. From what, from what I have said, it should be clear that homosexuality is incompatible with heterosexuality. Your definition has literally made both compatible. You've made it so that heterosexual people can be, can be defined as homosexual. That's the opposite of saying it's incompatible. Because you haven't got another thing to call people. Gay activists admit their goal is to destroy heterosexuality. Do they really? Well, good luck. And you've just made it a... Well, by your definition, you've just made it a frick sight easier for them, haven't you? You marrow-fingered pillock. Young females think they are useful for one thing only. Thousands in the porn industry display what everyone has instead of cultivating what is rare and valuable, femininity and the qualities sought in a wife and mother. There's a lot of porn that involves both of those. I hate to burst the bubble on a billion dollar industry. Yeah, I'm, be I'm sure they're shit in it, mate. Young naked women are practically all identical. Jesus Christ. Rice. They have identical equipment, boobs and bush. Symmetrical faces. Do men need to see literally thousands of examples? Well, we don't need to. But we can. And it's there. So. Fuck it. We were not prepared for the attack on our humanity by sexual liberation and porn. We didn't know our leadership had been subverted by the Illuminati. Well, you should have been. Why didn't you tell us? Marriage and family are the essential building blocks of society. Do you know what sometimes is? Do you know what another building block of society is, Henry? Having fun. Enjoying yourself. Doing something just because it's there. And it's free and it's easy. And everyone can do it. Homosexual social engineering is gradually destroying these sources of happiness and health. Well, so are you. You're destroying one too. Paul is creating new generations of heterosexuals who behave like homosexuals. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that.